starlings! Before I start the video, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to here to the 2,000 of you who have recently subscribed to this channel in the past month. I am absolutely blown away by the immense support. Be sure to leave any suggestions for videos, fan art, or original art you'd like to see on this channel. Your suggestions will help begin the process for more frequent videos. Uh, thanks so much, and enjoy my babbling! <laughs> Hi everybody! Uh, so I nearly just burnt down my kitchen trying to heat up a potato cake I got from the Arby's a couple days ago. Uh, so naturally I used that adrenaline rush to make a Meet the Artist video for this channel. Uh... <laughs> so I'm not the best at talking about myself, but I have like eight minutes to fill, so I'll do my best. Uh, and y'all can decide whether or not you still want to sub to me after listening to all this pink glittery garbage that's gonna fall out of my mouth during this. Shine on, you crazy diamonds! So let's see, let's see. My name is Ali Kay, but my friends call me Canary, and as of right now, I am a 20 year old bird woman child, soon to be a 21 year old bird woman child on this coming 25th of July. Mm -hmm. I have a love for the whimsical and magical, and I like to draw sometimes. My hobbies include eating food, drinking drinks, sleeping, walking through various woodlands, marathoning Barbie movies, Kingdom Hearts, crystal and candle hoarding, oversharing about original characters and worlds, watching pink glittery trash aimed at six-year-olds from the 80s to present times, and more Kingdom Hearts. Oh my stars, that even like half of the list. I also have like Screaming Over Gem and the Holograms, Wizard 101 Veteran, Ancient Alien Conspirating, and wow, I can't believe you guys are still watching this video. <laughs> um, 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 I've been drawing for a little over 10 years, I think. I've always kind of doodled. Um, I've always been surrounded by animation and Disney art and the likes of it. Uh, once And once it hit me at the tender age of like, eight-ish, that people actually draw things for a living to make movies and TV shows happen, I was kind of sold on the profession. Um, I started pretty young, I think, yeah, even more than 10 years, I'm willing to bet. <laughs> oh my gosh, my neighbors are mowing their lawn <laughs> right in the middle of my recording. Please stop, oh my gosh. They're still going at it. No. I think they stopped. Maybe. No, they, <laughs> they started back up again. Oh well. Sorry guys. <laughs> this kind of fits though. This kind of fits me. If you guys want the purest experience of my interview of myself, then this is what you're gonna get. Uh, maybe you guys can't hear it, I don't know. But <laughs> hopefully it doesn't last too long. Sorry. That's what background music is for, so <laughs> I'm gonna crank it up a bit. <laughs> Alright, um, um, okay, where was I? Wow, okay. Uh, let me just take a minute to talk about what's going on screen here. Um, with the Meet the Artist Challenge, I've been- I've seen people, uh, typically draw what they have in their bag and such. Um, and I thought that was really cool. I actually had, like, a, a lot of fun, uh, drawing these stationary items in the bag. Um... And I, I don't have all of it on screen at the moment, so I'm probably gonna go ahead of what's gonna be- what's gonna be shown. Um, uh, but I have my phone. I have my Donald Tsum Tsum to help me clean my phone. I have my Kingdom Hearts wallet, uh, the key ring, my key rings with my house key with a Kingdom Heart keyblade, key, Kingdom Keyblade keychain with Weighted On keychain. I've got all that good clutter, including coins from like Disneyland and Chuck E. Cheese and like crystals and old movie tickets. I have the pink iPod Nano and the typical beverage of choice. Uh, my travel sketchbook and my sketch pens and Copics, the essential gum and headache medicine, and sometimes my wand. Yep, all brought together in my little drab black purse I got from the local Target. And um, I think that's my, uh, my Disney Star Darlings wish necklace and I repurposed it as a keychain uh, just to give it a little bit of flair. Kind of surprised actually, I, I usually like to stick to drawing people so much I really don't think about drawing stationary immobile items I guess. Um, and this is really fun and I like to do it a lot more. As for me though, I don't think my self-portrait is uh, super on point here. I did this actually a couple of months ago and I, I've definitely improved my drawing, uh, drawing my own likeness in even in a cartoonish way. I think Drawing myself semi-realistically is what's throwing me off here. I didn't know quite how to draw my crooked teeth or like the long arch of my nose. I think maybe the face shape is what was throwing me off. I have like this long ovalish shape with some pudge 
on my cheek tension. Um, it didn't really read as well here, I think, as it might, as it might now. My outfit here is actually what I wore to go see Star Wars um, Rogue One in theaters. Uh, the dress is regrettably from Hot Topic, and those constellations were added on by hand, and it took forever. Um, I believe that's cut out, actually. I think I, there's a couple times uh, where this, um, the process cuts out a bit, and I think I had some trouble recording that day. Like, there's some parts where I missed coloring, like the face and bits of the background, I think. Um, so sorry about, sorry about the, the bits that have been missed, but, um, yeah, it took forever. It, all, the little bits of, um, detail took a lot of time, but they're really fun to do, and luckily I had, a, um, the Adventure Zone podcast to, to zone out to while doing it. Gosh dang, Hot Topic needs to stop pandering to my witchy interests. Ugh. <laughs> um, I really like drawing clothing too. Clothing and characters are some of my favorite things to draw on a regular basis. My absolute favorite thing to do is to add tiny details to make the, the, the thing feel the littlest bit more alive. I love adding little stuff like that. And I love to see it in the media I consume as well. What else should I talk about? I feel like I'm rambling a lot here. Uh, interest maybe? Or is that too close to hobbies? Maybe artsy stuff. I grew up on a really anime slash Disney background when it comes to art. I feel like that's a lot of people too. My inspirations, my main inspirations came from like Sailor Moon and um, various clamp titles and video games I had growing up. It used to be pretty much anime girls all day every day, whether it was like from Sailor Moon or The Legend of Zelda. I um I actually have an inspiration map I did you a year or two ago on DeviantArt, and though it's a little outdated, it still rings true with all my inspirations growing up. Um, I'll link it below if y'all get want to give it a read. Um, my my area of explaining is outdated and embarrassing, but I definitely remember things like Clamp and Neopets, The Darkest Fairy being on there, like Sailor Moon and Zelda. These days I find not much has changed. I'm still love in love with a lot of those things and a lot of those things still inspire me today. I know things like, you know, Legend of Zelda and Disney and Kingdom Hearts definitely still do. Um, music is also a huge inspiration. It's It always has been and it always will be, I think. I don't necessarily have a specific genre I favor. I just, it's really just anything that resonates with me, I think. I love Vowel City just as much as I love Gregorian monk chanting, I mean. <laughs> My tastes have always been a little all over the place though, and I also have trouble sticking to liking one thing at a time. In reality, I'm not living unless I'm unless I'm passionately in love with like four things at a time. Some of those things being really different di being really different from each other, but having like similarities in really small ways. I often say I love garbage, which is which really just means that I love some things that might not always be good. Like, sometimes not even good at all sometimes, but like, I love things that totally know what they're about and go all the way in their ridiculousness or even in their pure badness in some cases. Some things don't have to be super intelligent to make me like them, but I like things that have a little heart to them. Oh shoot, you know what? I don't think I actually recorded myself writing down the things I like and dislike. Um, I'll, I'll link a description in the description where I've posted this drawing so you can actually take a look at it, but I'll list off, I'll list off the things here. Okay, so likes, I like witchy stuff, kingdom hearts, mornings and evenings, fantasy kids books, meditation, sappy friendship themes, girly 80s uh, to 2000s cartoons, thunderstorms, OCs, and what does it say down there? Uh, crystal and candle hoarding. <laughs> Um, and in dislikes, I have cluttered workspaces, bullies, the rude, horror movies, negative attitudes, needles, talking on the phone, messy surroundings, math, and forced romances in media. Um, I feel like cluttered workspaces and messy surroundings are the same thing, but it was really hard to find out things I disliked. <laughs> I'm running out of time. Here's a few random but embarrassing and very real facts. Please enjoy. If my room is messy, I can't function like a normal human being. Candy corn is pure and good and doesn't hurt anybody. I will fight you. Miles Edgeworth, the arrival prosecutor from Ace Attorney, is currently in like his mid-30s, but I consider him to be my very real baby boy son. I will legit marry everybody in Overwatch, even Torbjorn, especially Torbjorn, but especially Zarya, because I love her very much. Barbie in the Nutcracker is the best movie ever made. I would die for Riku from Kingdom Hearts. My entire aesthetic is that one photo of a twin Wii game value pack of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword and Barbie grooming her lamb pups. Everybody have a beautiful Starfield night and my name is Canary Witch.